tell Google people ears who know they know it all that the people who know they know not to mislead them as a fast sense of comfort. All the nail techs, the barbers, the, 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 the taxi drivers, the wherever, all the who are working on retail stores, as a somebody as a brethren say. I just want a little bit work to just put my pile of food on the table. I will help out the angry because they can't get the same way like how they give it to the, in the first time. Right? So I think I think Mr. Mr. Embud and Dr. Rowley, which he has done, all the little Spanish, we can't leave them hungry. We can't leave them hungry as well, too. And we have family all over New York, London, Toronto, Scarborough, all over, and immigrants, and plenty of them do all kinds of things to survive. So, right, so we can't leave these Spanish them to, the ones that legitimately have to starve. So, we have to see, we have to make sure they eat, too. So, I am saying, coming back to all of that, if there is a lockdown, I have no problem with that because men try to fight against the great Google. It's no food out there. So all I say, Pastor, black man don't get nothing oh. easy. So when black man get we had to get, he must understand to appreciate the little that he has until better days could, could come. Thanks, Pastor. All right. Thank you very much. Hello. Good afternoon. Pastor Google. Good afternoon. And blessings to you and your family and your son have a big inheritance. Glory to God. <laughs> Afghan people have a way. They don't want to leave nothing for the children. They don't tell if mommy and papi have a best the child who have their home, but they're still looking for their own. Mm. You understand that in my 60s, I run away from a good inheritance to my first son. I had a cock for him when I was with my first marriage. But I had to run away and leave it because of the situation. And I went to America and I fight for how many years? Twenty somebody years. And I still couldn't get any inheritance. The second son born in America, his father, God bless his soul, he did not leave the son inheritance. The first son I got inheritance from the father and what we had together. And the second son who's an American, he wait, but he stayed there with his grass stepmother because she's in her eighties. And she has nobody, that's her only child. I, I was a surrogate mother, you know, Pastor Google. Okay. Well, Pastor Google has a wonder woman, you see me here, you know. And I came to this country, and when I tried to get a home, I was in the 60s, you know, late 60s. And the elder son told me, say, look at you, where you going to buy a house, you don't own already. You'll be an old man paying a mortgage, and say, I'm going through. I show myself in the ocean, not so certain I could have swim. Pastor Google and I get this girl who makes you want to stay. And Pastor Google, they give me 14, 15 years to pay for it. I pay for it in seven years in order for my children to have an inheritance. Because I know when they have an inheritance, it could help them in their life. Because in a time to come, it will be so hard. So the parents that are out there who want to air child and leave a check while it's some, some, something for the children, I don't know what to say with them. But as you quote the Bible, tell them again what the Bible tells us about leaving an inheritance past to Google. Because a lot of people don't hear, but they don't listen. You understand? So I love your conversation today. I make sure that when I do, and hear what I tell them, as I sacrifice for this. When I get senile, and I, God forbid I get senile, or I get, um, what they call it, Alzheimer's, hmm. so in a home, because when they put me in the home, I was dead there. But I want when I die in my home, Find yeah. my body and take me a shit and cast it around my house. Because this is, I work hard. Sacrifice is nothing like sacrificing in the past of Google. Yes. Everything in life is, and you know what? When you make a sacrifice, it will be a last, everlasting thing. But when you get things by stolen, thieving, robbing, scamming, and corruption, it will go like butter against the sun. Thank you very much, Pastor Google. Thank you very much. Hello. Papa G. Hi. Good afternoon. And it have a verse in the Bible that says, Blessed is the man that have it his own or something, right? That gets it his own or something, so. You know that verse? Go ahead. I'll, 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 I'll put it in context, but go ahead. Yeah, well. But the Bible also talks about a, a father or a man that so leaves an inheritance. This is what I get into. Some of us you know, um, have to make the inheritance. So I, I want to say to brothers like myself that 
we not know less than those who have to give, that who get to give, but the achievement in having to press it forward as, um, what is this called, by um, succession, that too, you know, has its, has its victory, victory also. Let's say, uh, I have a virgin who's lived by that motto now, and I'm inspired by that motto. And Which is? You know, Blessed is the man that gets out his own or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. You know, the person who leaves his parents' house now and build his own empire also, that too is a school of thought. That too needs some, um, you know, some encouraging and some inspiration because a lot of brothers out there don't have, you know, and have the jump off also. So I want to put out some words of inspiration out there. And, and, and to the... You know, I, there are some things, some adages along the way as I get older that I really decide to, um, to dismiss because I'll tell you something. In terms of the black man, and let me say we have to accompany that along as a black community, the black woman. And I find it is not focused upon how more per capita or percentage that the issues that the black youth suffers the black youth woman, now I know it have advantages in their instance, but they could be used as a source of inspiration because when you really check it out, if you look at plenty of the successful black women, they real band the belly and they, they increase knowledge. And that is one of the things why black bro uh, plenty of our black brothers is kind of like fall behind in. We mm -hmm. don't believe in increasing knowledge and come out of that hustle, hustle. How much hustle them are hustle? We go hustle. That, that skills you have on the street is applicable sciences that is taught in universities and in schools. It's just that you ain't formatted yet. It's as a brother hustling, let's say, the illegal substance. Think of how many subjects that is in play while he hustling. Maths, accounts, um, social work. Somebody that adding social work when I was having the discussion. And I find to some degree we need to tap into what we naturally use and put it in a format and formalize it because you do have the ability, chemistry, you understand? And, 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 and that could be applied if you're pardon, you ban your belly for a little year or two years, you know, and do a course, increase some kind of knowledge, anything, electrical wiring, housing thing, and you could be a hustler and do a course too. And right. then eventually you'll see that away from the hustling. And I find this is not, the, the, we, we had to over how much years we're going to get that black man had to struggle when the black woman just ate taking on brothers and became the book. And the next thing you know, they they in decent jobs and then they go back to school on top of that, probably have a child, single mother, and they decide, nah, I when I come home, wherever, I had to pay some studies, they get the degree and then brothers watching them now and not copying them. You understand what I'm trying to say? I'm not putting down black brothers, you know. But I'm saying we're not using what we have naturally on the street. All them subjects we're using to do the hustle. All of them are subjects, but not in a, in a formal sense. And we need to encourage brothers to seek knowledge, to a course, get to learn to do something, specialize in something. While being a hustler, and you realize you'll move away from the hustler. And you started me them deals and I'm ready to this house. I wanted to I wanted to I wanted to, to, to take note of this. Proverbs thirteen twenty two. Yeah. All right. Proverbs thirteen twenty two says well, let me get somebody else a chance, I'll listen off here, right? Yeah. Proverbs yes, sir. Proverbs thirteen twenty two says a good man, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children, children. Listen, you know, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. That's what the Bible says, you know. A good man, you know. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Pastor Google. Uh huh. I'm listening very attentively. And it is so true, truthful. Because you see, that, that, that I want to say this. And you see, how does it happen is that when you start to think in the early, then you go to God and the Spirit leading you. Because, you know, we just call black people poor and all kinds of things. You know how much money does pass through a poor man? And you don't, you don't put it to proper use. Because 
because I see men buying cigarettes. Thirty dollars for a pack of cigarettes, you know. Thirty dollars. If you check in money, check how much. Thirty three times is a hundred dollars. That's what I'm ten dollars money, and you get a hundred dollars. And if you buy three packs of cigarettes for a week, that money could go to good use. If you were not in a bank, thirty dollars a day, or let say buy two packs of cigarettes a day. Right, sixty dollars a day, you know. And if you bang that, put that in your credit union, after three, four years time, check the money you have. And when you buy cigarettes, smoke it, the smoke is blowing. You don't get nothing from that. You can't put the smoke in a bottle. I said, look, I will save the smoke. So when I want to smoke next time, I will go back to that smoke. These are the things that keep in a lot of us dumb. This is the thing I give you a lot of us dumb. I, I, I'm, I'm what the brother said just now about the, the, um, the Bible said that, that um, I think it's, it's an old saying, eh? That that's an old you saying. Know, I don't think that's a biblical saying. That's just an old saying. I old saying that, that mother have, father have. Blessed is the child, child of her husband. You know why I say that? Don't depend on the mother what they have. Get up your young, your, your, your Bible, get up and go and look for yours. When you get yours, whatever I have, and I die, I'll leave it for you so you'll have a little more on top of what you have. That is the interpretation of it. You understand? So they, you know, like some of them depend in the mother house. Mm. They never send me I leave my mother house, you know. Because you know why you know why I say I don't want my mother to die. And I still depend depending on my mother. I don't have a spoon, I don't have a plate, I don't have a cup, I don't have you understand? And I go out and I build a, 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 a bachelor house, buying my things. So when my mother dead, I don't have to depend on what she has. And this is, this is the way you go forward. And, and, and it's, a, it's a very good thing the Bible tells us that. A good man, a good man leaves it because whatever I have, I leave it. Who, who behind me, you know? Come in, I leave it to them. And these are the things you have to practice. You have to practice. You must not be talking. You must come into action. And I do gardening. And sometimes you have to tell me, bring this to them. Bring that to them. Sometimes you have to pass Google when I carry it to them. They were offering me money. I said, look, I said, now nah, you hold that now. You take that now. You take that. I said, go and give it to me and I give it to you. You understand? So I don't move it, people. But you must have something to give. You must be, uh, uh, you're depending on somebody's thing. Get up. God give us health. You give us strength. And these are the main things we want. Everybody get up early in the morning and talk to God, you know. For health and strength, you say, daily, I will renew your strength. That's what you want to deliver life to, you know. Strength. And God gives us every day that new portion of strength he gives to us. But we don't sit down with the strength. Get up and sit down. You can't go nowhere with that. I will, that's why I tell you this. He said, not the talkers to justify, you know. It is doers, those who are doing, will be justified. Have a blessed pastor. All right. Thank you very much. Blessed is the man that have his own, eh? Hmm. Pastor Google, the best inheritance, inheritance I could leave in for my children and grandchildren, the best, best gift, the best inheritance, I keep telling them I would leave with for them and with them. Is not what I would leave for them, it's what I would leave with them, knowing Jesus Christ. To be obedient, to serve him in spirit and in truth. That is the best gift any parent could leave for a child. All right, thank you very much. Very true. But... Morning, Pastor Google, Tobago in the house. Lovely topic. And I like how you are wearing your face mask. I am home, it's just work home, and as I said, it's only two days for the week I'm working. And before COVID, that is how I was always, work and home. I don't have nothing to do in town, I come home. Once I have something to do in town, I do what I have to do and hurry back home. My only adventure used to be awful, so I stay at home. People not taking this thing seriously. Now they are seeing how serious 
this thing is now they are seeing how say some of one percent alone just ignorant to the fact that this thing is real now they see now people dropping down like flies COVID don't care who you are, if you're rich, if you're poor, you're black, you're white, you're Chinese, it does not care. Please, people, do what is right for your family. Hello, good um, afternoon. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Tormann. I want to answer a question that you asked early on. Um, what penalty do you think they should pay? The government should hand down to the persons who put in propaganda in social media. Pastor Google, I think, is one of the harshest penalty possible. Right? Because, <laughs> but I don't know. These people, they don't have no love for this country. They're still thinking politics. You know? People die in and they're still thinking about UNC PNM politics, you know. And, you know, if this COVID-19 ravages country like it ravaging in India right now, we will not know PNM or UNC, you know. But they're still thinking UNC politics, they're still fighting the government. Yeah, son. They need to stop that. I, I feel these people, Mr. Griffith, Yes, yeah, 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 yes. We, it have ways of tracing who is doing these things, right? Or commissioner, Mr. Griffith. Find these people and prosecute them because this is not right, Pastor Google. You understand? People dying, people literally dying from this sickness. Look, you have any mask. I watching you on, on YouTube right, here, right now in my van and talking to you on my phone. I'm driving a pack up, right? For, for anybody think of driving. But Pastor Google, this thing really they kill us. You understand? Yeah, man. People should face some harsh penalty for that stupidness they're doing. All right. Uh, but Pastor Google, these people love the country. That's all I can say. These people don't love the country. All right. Thank you. Hmm. I'm going for a break and come back to you, Antonio. <laughs> 